Now we are going to try some past questions from the chapters of the most concept. Right, so for example, given 2 NaNO3, okay, it will form 2 NaNO2 plus O2. Right, so given with the information, 3.4 grams samples of sodium nitrate, which is this, is heated. Calculate the moles of sodium nitrate used. Right, so first, always remember, before you proceed with all the questions, always look for the information available. Right, so based on this question, we are given with the information of the mass of sodium nitrate. So which means you know that for sodium nitrate, the mass is 3.4 gram. Now, we are to look for the numbers of moles of Na and O3. Remember? I mean, the three formulas that you need to remember. So, now given with mass. So, we know that in terms of mass, the formula that we need to use will be M equals to M over MR. Alright, so we know that M will be 3.4. So, what is MR? Remember, for MR, you need periodic table. You need to look for the mass of Na, which is 23, and 40, O, 16. Alright. So, uh, based on the periodic table, and A, 23, and 14, O, 16, and... I mean, so we want to look for the relative molecular mass for N, A, and O, 3. So eventually, it will be... N, A will be 23, and 14. See, that's 3, O here. So, 3, 16. Eventually, you get 85. So, which means the MR for N, A, and O, 3 will be 85. So, which means M will be 3.4. MR will be 85. So, the number of moles, it will be 0 0.04 mole. Right, then next, numbers of moles of oxygen form. So, that's one tip for you guys. So, whenever you guys have me and have found the number of moles of one compound in the equation, you basically can look for the number of moles of other compound based on the ratio. So, in this case, you know that. See, the equation, two of these, it will form two of this and one of this. So, based on the ratio, so now they ask you to look for the number of moles of oxygen form. And you get the numbers of moles of Na and O3, which is 0 0.04 mole. Right, so based on the ratio, so what's the ratio of sodium nitrate and oxygen? We know that. Na and O3, O2. Based on the equation, 2 to 1. 2 to 1. 2 to 1. So we know that the number of moles of Na and O3 will be 0 0.04. So what will be the number of moles of oxygen if the ratio is 2 to 1? So which means we can divide by 2. So it will be 0 0.02 moles. So which means the number of moles of oxygen form it will be 0 0.02 moles. Right, then asking for the volume of oxygen form in DMQ. Ah, so, we know that. We know that the number of moles of oxygen is 0 0.02 mol. So, volume. Remember the formula? N equals to V over 24 DMQ. The V is in DMQ. So, we want to look for the volume. We know that the number of moles of oxygen is 0 0.02. So, equals to V over 24. So, eventually, V also equals to 0 0.48 DMQ. Right, guys? Alright, let's try another question. So, for example, in this case, there's 4.8 grams of calcium is added to water with this given balance equation. So, they ask you to look for the number of moles of calcium and number of moles of water. Remember, before you start to do the question, always look for the information available. Then only you can know what formula to use. So, in this case, given the mass of calcium, 4.8 grams, which means for calcium, the mass is 4.8. Right. So, what formula that we can use to look for the number of moles of calcium? Remember, in terms of mass, the formula that we use will be N, equal, N equals to M over MR. M for mass, MR for relative atomic mass. Alright, so in this case, so what is the MR for CA? Basically, you can base on the periodic table. You see, based on the periodic table, the MR for CA will be 40. Okay? So, equals to 4.8 divided by 40, you will get 0 0.12 mole. Right, then next, numbers of moles of water. Uh, so basically, okay, once you have looked for the numbers of moles of one compound in the equation, you can basically, okay, based on the ratio, you can look for the number of moles of the rest. Okay, most of the time in exam, the question you okay, always link to one and another. Right, so in this case, they ask you to look for number of moles of water. So look for the ratio. Ratio of calcium, okay, with the known number of moles, and also the ratio of water, okay, the one that you are looking for. So in the question itself, Ca to H2O. The ratio will be calcium, one, water, Right, so if the number of moles of calcium is 0 0.12 mole, so the number of moles of water will be 1 to 2. Uh, so 0 0.12 times 2, get 0 0.24. So which means the number of moles of water needed, it will be 0 0.24 mole. Right, so far so good guys. Mm. Right. Continue with next examples of past year questions. 
Right, so you see, given 25 cm cube of potassium hydroxide with a concentration of 2.53 mol per dm cube, it was neutralized by 28.2 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid. Right, so they ask you to calculate the numbers of moles of KOH, which is potassium hydroxide used. Right, remember I told you guys before, before you start to pursue the question, always jot down all the information available. Okay, it will give you a better information about which formula to use. So 25 cm cube of potassium hydroxide. So we know that the volume is 25 cm cube. With a concentration 2.53. Right. Then sulfur acid, which is this, H2SO4, volume is 28.2 cm cube. So they ask you to look for the numbers of moles of KOH used, which is this potassium hydroxide. See, so given with the information of V and M. So in this case, you can use a formula then in terms of concentration, since M and V is given. So remember, N equals to M, V. M already V is volume, but in terms of dm cube. So which means we need to change 25 cm cube. Okay, divide by 1000, then you will get 0 0.025 dm cube. So, n equals to, m will be 2.53 times volume, okay, 0 0.025. So, eventually, the number of moles that you will get will be 0 0.063 mole. Alright, then, they ask you to look for the numbers of moles of H2SO4 which is this sulfur acid. Right, remember I told you guys before, once you get the number of moles of one compound in an equation, basically you can look for the number of moles of others in terms of ratio. So in this case, what is the ratio of potassium hydroxide to sulfur acid? Two potassium hydroxide. Two to one, isn't it? Two to one. So which means the number of moles of sulfur acid will be the number of moles of potassium hydroxide divided by two. So which means you will get the number of moles of 0 0.032 moles. Right, based on the ratio 2 to 1, okay? 0 0.063. 0 0.063. So this will be uh, divided by 2, you get 0 0.032. Right, then next, concentration of sulfur acid. So which means that asking for M. Right, so we have the volume, we have the number of moles. So we look for V. So which means we can use the formula of N equals to MV. Same thing, okay? The volume, we need to change into dmq. Okay, divided by 1000, you get 0. 0, 2, 8, 2, dm cube. So eventually, m equals to, m will be, we do not know. I mean, yeah, we want to look for m. So, m equals to, m divided by dv, isn't it? Okay, you move the d over here. So, number of moles will be 0 0.032. Volume, it will be 0 0.0282. So eventually, the number of moles of get will be 1.1 mole per dm cube. Right, guys? Mm. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. Ciao.